super-powered foods, ultra-effective medicines, and bizarre living creations. There are thousands of products that we use on a daily basis that are genetically engineered. And today, we're taking a look at 15 incredible genetic engineering modifications. Number 15, spider goats. Although spiders and goats may be two animals that have almost nothing in common, scientists can genetically engineer them to be much closer to each other than they may seem. You see, for years, scientists have been trying to harvest spider silk due to its status as a super material. However, when they tried to set up spider farms, these territorial animals would simply kill each other and thus not produce all that much silk. To solve this problem, scientists began inserting a spider's dragline silk gene into goats in such a way that the goats would only make the protein in their milk. This led to some of the goats producing milk that was filled with the silky material, thus opening up the possibility for wide-scale production. However, amidst growing concerns from animal rights and anti-GMO activists, the project was shut down in 2013. Yet only time will tell if this technology will one day be reincarnated. Number 14. Medicinal Chicken Eggs While many of us wake up in the morning and make ourselves a hearty breakfast of eggs and toast, eating eggs may soon take on a whole new medicinal meaning. That's because in 2017, Japanese researchers were able to successfully begin breeding chickens that produce interferon beta, which is a protein that's known to fight diseases such as cancer and hepatitis. They were able to do this by inserting genes that produce interferon beta into chicken sperm, and this eventually led to female chickens being born that laid eggs with this protein. This is a big deal because of conventional injections can often cost several hundreds of dollars, and this method could cut the price of this cancer-fighting agent by as much as 90%. Therefore, we hope these eggs begin entering mass production sooner rather than later. Number 13. Purple Tomatoes While purple tomatoes may not sound all that appetizing, the truth of the matter is that they're far better for you than their regular red counterparts. That's because genetically modified purple tomatoes have higher amounts of anthocyanins, which are an antioxidant found in blueberries, blackberries, and plums. This not only gives these tomatoes their purple color, but more importantly, also gives them the ability to help fight cancer. Now, to be clear, we're not saying that a purple tomato could serve as a standalone treatment. However, what they can do is provide your body with greater protection while not sacrificing their classic tomato flavor. Thus, while they haven't been approved yet to enter the wider market, they have the potential to be an amazing product going forward. Number 12. Human Breast Milk when it comes to child rearing, it's almost universally agreed upon that human breast milk is better than cow's milk. Yet there are many women out there that simply can't lactate, and thus researchers in China have dairy cows that can make milk almost identical to what's produced in the human breast. In 2003, researchers from the China Agricultural University introduced human genetic coding into the DNA of Holstein dairy cow embryos, and after doing so, they transferred the embryos into cow surrogates. According to Professor Li Nong, who was one of the lead researchers of the project, this genetically modified cow's milk was, quote, 80% the same as human breast milk, end quote. In particular, the milk had proteins and antibodies typically found in breast milk, making this modified milk a better option than cow's milk. However, whether or not it ever passed China's approval process or went into mass production is still unclear. Number 11. BT Cotton Cotton is easily one of the world's most important organic materials, as it's an essential ingredient of the creation of textiles. Yet cotton plants are quite vulnerable to bollworms, which can attack and destroy cotton crops rather quickly. Thus, in the past couple of decades, most of the world's cotton producers have used transgenes to insert the gene coding for BT toxin into the tissues of cotton plants. This natural insecticide has been crucial in making the cotton plants much more resilient as it not only protects against the larvae of moths, butterflies, beetles, cotton ball worms, and flies, but does so without having negative impacts on the health of any other organisms. As a result, GMO cotton now makes up about 94% of the world's total cotton crop. Number 10. Glow-in-the-dark cats While cute, fluffy kittens can make anyone's day a little brighter, glow-in-the-dark cats can physically achieve that same effect. First made in 2011, these kittens were created by inserting green fluorescent proteins, or GFP, into their DNA. And while this may seem a little silly at first, the reason why the scientists chose to do this was because GFP could serve as a great marker for other DNA inserts. In other words, by inserting GFP along with their gene of choice, they could easily see if they were successful because the cat would glow. With this in mind, they chose to insert genes that were resistant to FIV, which is very similar to HIV in humans. 
The results were astounding, as the glow-in-the-dark proteins were able to prove that the gene insertion had been successful. Better yet, upon further testing, they found that the anti-FIV genes also had been reproduced in future generations of kittens. Therefore, scientists hope to use these great results to help find a way in which similar anti-HIV genes could be inserted into humans. Number 9. Atrin While it's highly unlikely that you were one of the 1 in 5,000 Americans who suffers from antithrombin deficiency, the solution that scientists have found in order to treat the disease is absolutely incredible. Now, antithrombin is essentially a blood clot regulator, and thus being deficient in it can lead to sufferers experiencing severe blood clots during events such as surgeries and pregnancies. Traditionally, this was treated using products derived from human blood. Yet with blood donation demand far outweighing supply, sufferers were often left waiting if they needed to get a hold of some. Thus, the creators of Atrin chose to get around this issue by turning to genetically modified goat's milk. This works by genetically engineering the goats so they have a segment of DNA into their genes with the instructions for the goat to produce human antithrombin in its milk. The human antithrombin is then extracted from the goat's milk to manufacture Atrin. This is beneficial for all involved, as it causes absolutely no harm to the goats while reducing the risk of blood-transmitted diseases from blood-clotting products. Yet the beneficiaries of Atrin go far beyond the sufferers themselves, as Atrin is the first FDA-approved product to come from the milk of genetically modified animals. We hope that this innovative form of medicine creation can be replicated far into the future. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. The Enviro Pig as you might imagine, pig poop is pretty gross. After all, not only is it quite smelly, but it also contains large amounts of phosphorus, which can find its way into nearby water bodies and contaminate them with algae. Yet the scientists behind the Enviro Pig attempted to solve this problem by inserting a gene into pigs that made them better able to digest the phosphorus in their food, which in turn caused them to emit less of it in their poop. At first, this project got some serious financial backing by Ontario Pork, which is an organization of pig farmers in the Canadian province of Ontario. However, the group ran into problems when it became clear that no producers were willing to breed in viral pigs. This was then made worse by the fact that the Canadian government refused to approve them for consumption, and as a result, all of the animals in the enviro pig herd were killed, while their semen was maintained in case a company wanted to purchase it in the future. Thus, while this was more of an unfortunate ending for such a promising project, we just hope that more widespread acceptance of genetically modified animals such as the Enviro Pig becomes a reality sometime soon. Number 7. GMO Trees Climate change is easily the single biggest threat to human existence, and as a result, many have been looking for innovative ways in order to mitigate its effects. And while alternative energy and minimalist campaigns have been all the rage recently, GMO trees are emerging as a new way in which carbon emissions can be mitigated. The idea behind GMO trees is that they can be genetically engineered to grow larger, develop faster, be more resistant to disease, and better able to absorb carbon and their non-GMO counterparts. This would allow new trees to be more efficient carbon absorbers, as regular trees typically take hundreds of years in order to become mature enough to take in considerable quantities of carbon. Thus, the research into creation of the super-powered trees has been ongoing. Yet another possible solution could be to engineer trees that could create solid carbon blocks. While this may sound a little strange, it may in fact be possible to tinker with a tree's carbon cycle so that it would turn carbon into a solid, powder-like calcium carbonate. The hope is this would then fall to the ground and be harvested as raw material. However, as of now, no GMO trees have been approved for widespread planting, as many worry these new trees may disrupt current ecosystems. However, when you consider that their net benefit has the potential to far outweigh their ill effects, we think that more research should be done so we can begin to mass-produce these high-tech trees. Number 6. Arctic Apples While apples are a snack time favorite for many, Unsightly brown spots and discoloration cause about 40% of purchased apples to simply be thrown into the trash. Thus, in order to combat this concerning trend, scientists began to tackle the discoloration problem by creating genetically modified variants of Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, and Fuji apples. Apples brown in the first place largely thanks to reactions between the polyphenols and PPO enzymes naturally found within apples. Generally speaking, polyphenols and PPO enzymes stay apart. However, when an apple's cut, they're exposed to oxygen and begin to react. This causes their trademark brown color, which while looking rather gross, is actually completely edible. 
Yet Arctic apples are able to do away with this browning, thanks to the fact that scientists can simply stop them from producing PPO enzymes. This is done by using a natural biological process known as RNAi, as certain RNAi sequences can recognize and destroy the molecular instructions that allow for PPO production. More specifically, when anti-PPO RNAi sequences are collected, they can be inserted into apple seeds in order to stop them from being able to brown. Best of all, once this is done, there are no ill effects to the consumer, as the apples taste exactly the same and have the same nutritional content. When you consider the Arctic apples have just recently received FDA approval, we hope they can become widespread as soon as possible. Number 5. The Rainbow Papaya Of all the fruit out there, none are quite like the papaya. After all, not only is their interior full of black seeds, but they have an orange, sticky flesh that is super sweet and very delicious. However, by the early 1980s, we almost lost this fantastic fruit forever when a disease known as papaya ring spot virus swept papaya plantations around the globe. It had first originated in Hawaii in the 1940s, and it wasn't long until it began to spread. Yet while hurried research was conducted through the 1970s and 80s, it wasn't until 1991 that Dr. Dennis Gonzalez discovered a genetically modified papaya in a lab in Geneva that was immune to the disease. His timing couldn't have been any better, as despite his potential solution, Hawaii's papaya industry was on the brink of collapse. After all, by 1998, the island had lost half of its papaya crop, and the sector's prospects weren't looking good. Yet on May 1st of 1998, after years of testing and regulatory approvals, Hawaii's public sector began to distribute rainbow papaya seeds to papaya growers at no cost. This had an immediate positive effect, as not only did the new GMO papaya trees produce far more fruit than their diseased counterparts, but by 2012 they made up about 90% of Hawaii's papaya production. Many critics argue that GMOs weren't the right solution to this problem. However, the truth of the matter is that there are still no organic or conventional methods to prevent papaya ring spot disease. Therefore, this GMO papaya allowed the livelihoods of Hawaii's papaya farmers to continue. And as such, Dr. Gonzalez is rightfully considered to be a hero by many Hawaiians. Number 4. CRISPR Cows For many, the idea of having genetically modified beef and dairy cows may seem like a daunting proposition. However, GMO company CRISPR is able to take the semen of a male cow and genetically modify it so that generations of stronger, healthier cows can be created. Now, there are a handful of very specific problems that CRISPR is trying to tackle with their cows. The first is the issue of dehorning. Generally speaking, it's necessary for dairy cows to be dehorned at a young age, as their horns can easily hurt other cows or gore their handlers in the blink of an eye. However, the current way of doing this is generally pretty painful, as the horns have to be burned off in order to ensure that they don't grow back. Yet CRISPR can solve this problem by giving newborn calves a dominant allele gene so they don't grow horns, meaning that those dairy cows would be genetically rather than physically dehorned. Another major issue that CRISPR could tackle is the incidence of viruses. Believe it or not, about 20% of the world's cattle die of disease every single year, causing a massive strain on the industry and leaving behind a lot of unusable beef. In order to combat this, CRISPR is working on producing tuberculosis-resistant cattle, which could make this 20% figure significantly smaller. This would be of massive benefit to the beef industry, as it would lead to less waste and a greater quantity of beef being sold on world markets. Yet current regulations are making it extremely difficult for CRISPR cows to be created. This is because there's widespread fear surrounding genetic modification of cows, and as such they have to undergo copious amounts of testing in order to be approved for consumption. Therefore, unless governments begin to realize that genetic modifications have virtually no drawbacks, many of the issues cows continue to face will likely remain. Number 3. Aqua Advantage Salmon While various species of salmon exist, Aqua Advantage Salmon can one-up practically all of them. Now, they're modeled after Atlantic salmon, but they have been genetically modified so they have a growth hormone gene from the fast-growing Pacific Chinook salmon and a promoter sequence from the ocean pout. Combined, the gene and promoter enable Aqua Advantage salmon to grow year-round instead of seasonally. This effectively doubles their growth rate, and as a result can reach market size in just 16 to 18 months, rather than in the three years that a typical Atlantic salmon would take. Best of all, they do so while consuming 25% less feed, thus making them a lot less wasteful than their non-GMO counterparts. Yet the road towards FDA approval for the Aqua Advantage salmon was long and arduous. That's because despite being developed all the way back in 1989, it was not approved until the year 2015, and didn't begin to appear on supermarket shelves until the year 2019. 
This made it the first ever genetically modified animal to ever be approved by the FDA for consumption. In regards to the salmon industry, it was much needed. After all, the numbers of salmon caught have been in severe decline since the 90s. And as such, the new species could help fight this problem by doubling a salmon's farm output overnight. The company that's producing Aqua Advantage salmon is Aqua Bounty, and they have a number of shrewd measures in place that will make their salmon get to stores quickly. In particular, they've set up most of their salmon farm operations in land facilities near cities, and this gives them near-complete control of the environmental conditions of the salmon. Therefore, it's quite likely that Aqua Bounty may be able to make lots of salmon at a rather small environmental cost, sooner rather than later. Number 2. The Innate Potato While potatoes have been a staple crop for years, in 2014, the USDA allowed for some significant changes when it approved of a GMO variety of this vegetable. Known as the innate potato, it's derived from the white russet potato and it's been engineered by J.R. Simplet Company to have several new traits. Generation 1 of the innate potato was given two significant upgrades. The first was that it had a reduced ability to bruise and brown, meaning that the insides would stay white even when bumped during transit. While this was primarily cosmetic, it has the potential to lead to a lot less potatoes being unnecessarily thrown out every year. The second main upgrade was that it had far less asparagine. Asparagine is a naturally occurring chemical in potatoes. However, when potatoes are baked or fried, it's converted into acrylamide, which is a probable carcinogen. Thus, this asparagine reduction ensures that the potatoes can be cooked without worry of producing harsh byproducts. Generation 2 of the NA potato takes things a step further, as it addresses several major issues such as shrink from cold storage, late blight, sugar ends, sprouting, acrylamide, and black spot bruising. In tandem, this leads to better quality potatoes and greater satisfaction from every industry in the supply line. Now, while JR Simplet has chosen to retain their white russet branding, the innate potato is now available in stores across the United States and Canada. There is a very real possibility that you ate one of these GMO potatoes rather recently without even realizing it. Number 1. Golden Rice Out of all the entries on this list, the one that's both the most incredible and the most disappointing is Golden Rice. This GMO grain was first created back in 2002 after nine years of research. Its principal difference when compared to regular rice is that it had a beta carotene. Generally speaking, this substance is only found in the leaves and stems of a rice plant, but thanks to genetic engineering, it was placed inside of the kernels. This not only gave the rice a distinct gold color, but it gave significantly larger amounts of vitamin A. Now, for those of us in the West, this is not too big of a deal, as vitamin A deficiencies are extremely rare. Yet in developing countries, vitamin A deficiencies are responsible for about 1 million deaths and 500,000 cases of blindness annually, with most of the victims being children. Therefore, by substituting the plain bowls of rice these children likely ate already with golden rice, the gift of life and sight could be granted to them. However, despite it having been nearly two decades since its creation, golden rice is still unavailable to those who need it. And unfortunately, the prime culprit for this lack of availability are world governments. You see, because it's a GMO, the grain has been subjected to heavy government regulation, and thus hasn't been approved for production and distribution despite being completely safe. Therefore, golden rice unfortunately stands as a sad case of how fear and uncertainty led to a GMO product getting shelved and the lives of millions of children meeting an untimely end. Watch our future playlist for more top 15 videos about the future. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best future-related videos.